tapping 64,307 broken out. That might be the big level from where we get rejected. Major, major signs are aligning right now for a massive pump today. And I believe this can happen in the next hour potentially from where you see this video. Let's directly jump into this and let's go. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in again. First of all, so sorry that I did not make yesterday a video, but I'm a little bit sick here. I'm sitting here, you know, got sick two days ago in the evening. Don't know from what, still have some issues with that. But I'm back, I'm back. I feel good enough to make a video, guys. So let's directly get into it. So one of the reasons why I believe that we are going to see here in the next one and a half hours from my time, while I'm recording this here, a massive, massive pump is that Jerome Powell will have his speech at, what is it called again, blah, blah, blah hole. Sorry, guys. Nah, I just forgot the name where he will have a speech, but at 8 a.m. local time and 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, he will have a speech and most likely will come out really, really dovish, which is good for us, uh, in terms of the next uh, FOMC meeting where they're going to go for the first time this year, uh, cut interest rates. And you see here on the Fed watch tool, the predictions currently are 71.5% for getting a 25 basis points rate cut and 28.5% of a 50 um, basis point rate cut. I believe this here, the 71.5% could jump to like 80, 90, potentially even close to 100% after his speech uh, that we are going to watch here <clears throat> in a little bit. That of course will have an immediate impact on the dollar index. So here you see we're retesting right now uh, the former support level that is now confirmed resistance because we retested it yesterday and the day before that got rejected. Today we have again here a pinball candle or a doji candle which could lead to another rejection by tomorrow or even today uh, when we get the speech. And the bigger underlying support level here from 101 to 100.5 uh, points here on the DXY is currently giving us here support on the DXY, but I believe depending on how the speech is going later, that we're actually starting to crack this level and start to move here uh, lower and lower as we did here for the last couple of weeks since we called it all the way from all the way up here. Remember guys, we called it um, when we were here 105 points that we are starting to go down from here once we are breaking this rising wedge pattern. So I can tell you once we are breaking the 100 point level, Bitcoin will be around $64,000, $65,000. And once we're going below 100, Bitcoin will just go on a rampage. Because of that specific reason, I have already opened a small Bitcoin trade here. Uh, right now, $55,000 approximately is the uh, position size. I'm under water here, roughly $300. But I have more money on the side, uh, just in case that we get some volatility around the speech to add more to my position. So let's say the speech comes out, speech is super positive for us, uh, but because the market is the market, you know, and, and we are coming first down here to like 58 and then go up, then I just add more at 58 because I don't believe that we're going to break 58 and go lower. More more likely to uh, what's going to happen is if we uh, would see something like this is that we get an immediate bounce from there. The other, uh, the other thing is if we're breaking 61, 500, there also I would just add more uh, to my position and write this then to like 64 potentially and take there my profit. So I'm not here on this particular position out to um, build a long-term position. This is more like a scalp position where I just make two, three, four thousand, five thousand dollars and then I get out again. So here for you guys, if you want to get into this position, I'm going to show it to you later, but do it on Bybit guys. Sign up on Bybit for that with the link in the description. When we're going to the Wall Street cheat sheet for the, uh, the three day chart, you see we are here also perfectly on track for getting a nice move here to the upside. So here, if we would follow this pattern to the T, we would get a move here to around uh, $67,000. I don't believe that we go all the way up here today. But 64, yes, 64, I think, is definitely here in the cards. And by, um, what is it, Sunday, we should be then a little bit higher. So let's see how, how this is going. But we are definitely completely on track currently here. On the daily chart, on, on, the, uh, on the line chart. Also here, we have finally flipped the green zone back into support. We are above that level. And also here, I expect continuation all the way up into uh, at least $63,000 here to the top of 
the resistance range here, potentially even uh, tapping 64,370. I don't believe that this area here will give us a lot of resistance if Powell comes out really, really bullish in terms of uh, interest rate cuts and more or less will again confirm that we are getting a rate cut next month. So if this is going to happen, I expect that this area will not give us a lot of resistance on the way to the upside. When we're looking at the one hourly chart, also here we have broken out out of this downwards sloping parallel channel finally we are now in this upward sloping parallel channel also here a breakout uh, would bring us above $62,700 out of that um I would sloping channel and like I said I believe that this is the next major level that we need to watch here uh, for a breakout by today and I think we don't need to wait until tomorrow after tomorrow for that um if power comes out bullish later it will happen today that we are breaking out of this potentially then um, turn 62,000 into support and then continue to move into higher levels here also the four hourly chart has shown us that we broke out out of that uh, symmetrical triangle here and currently we are forming a bull flag pattern just above the uh, symmetrical triangle pattern and here also here you see the technical target if we would break out of this would bring us already to $63,265 which is pretty close to the next bigger resistance or the next closest resistance here at $63,500 so if we get a bullish Powell today that might be the big level from where we get rejected find somewhere between $62,000 and $63,000 support consolidate and then get the next leg to the upside so how can you trade this right now if we break out above $61,100, um, that would be a breakout out of that bull flag pattern. If we get a 50 minute close above that, you can enter this and trade this into the technical target of $63,300. <clears> there, <throat> yeah, I would definitely take some profit and raise my stop loss a little bit above entry to like $61,500. And then you can write the rest of the, the position. So that's also potentially what I'm going to do here with the current position that I'm holding. Now, in the 12 hourly chart, we are trying right now to break above the point of control here from the index algo indicator you see here also the uh, stochastic rsi even though we got a sell signal is trying to turn around already again so here over the next 36 hours we could see a turnaround especially if we break here to the upside uh, later today the rsi is still tremendously bullish also the uh, macd is kind of bullish not super bullish uh, but price action uh, tells us why the MACD is not super bullish and this is because we are here in that resistance area of that point of control here. Once we are breaking above that and this downward sloping resistance line at 61,500, you're going to see a nice pop here to the upside. And guys, don't forget, if you don't have money right now, like literally zero, go to Zoomex, sign up there. You still get $10 just for signing up. And if you deposit at least $100, you enter a draw to win $500 here. Two people win every single week here $500 with Zoomex if you deposit $100, guys. So go and use the link in the description below. And also still for another three days, if you trade with $100 Bitcoin or Ethereum and you lose them, Zoomex got your back. They're going to cover your loss and going to refund you these $100. There's also something else coming up with Zoomex that I'm going to talk about tomorrow. Uh, so definitely make sure that you also watch tomorrow's video. But right now for everything what I said, use the link in the description below and uh, take advantage of that uh, while you can. So here on the daily chart, also really, really big area that Bitcoin is trying to break above right now. And that is here the $61,800 area. If we get a daily close above that, also here, everything is giving us a green lit sign to move to the upper resistance of that uh, bigger parallel channel around $67,500. Of course, this will not happen today or tomorrow, but next week, I believe next week we are going to see a move here uh, into that uh, resistance area. I'm not saying that we are breaking it, but we are going to get another retest, then potentially some consolidation, and then I expect uh, at some point um, in the following days a break of that uh, specific area here. Then on the four hourly chart, we are also soon getting a golden cross uh, potentially by next week, Monday, Tuesday, uh, if we see here Bitcoin making a move today and creating a short squeeze all the way up to $63,500 and liquidate all these uh, low leveraged short positions that are feeling still quite comfortable to be sitting there. But I think they are either have to take profit or um, getting closed or liquidated uh, with the speech later. So if they are not 
uh, immediately closing all these positions uh, when they see the speech is super bullish, uh, they're going to get liquidated here and that will give us fuel to move to $63,000, $64,000 approximately. That will also increase the angle of the 50 moving average here uh, and potentially already gives us a golden cross by Sunday as the earliest moment for getting here a golden cross. But overall, you see we are riding the uh, EMA ribbon. As long as we are riding the EMA ribbon uh, and soon breaking here this downward sloping resistance line, I expect uh, a nice short squeeze once we are breaking here this downward sloping resistance line. Also on the um, liquidation heat map, you see here the uh, area of interest is around 61400 all the way up to $62,000. Uh, hence why I believe that um, if we get a bullish speech that we are moving there like with lightning speed, with, 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 uh, like really within a finger snap you know so really quickly uh, faster than, than you can look uh, once uh, once we get the speech when we're looking here at this four hourly chart with the mdx algo gradient also here you see price action has cooled enough down to get another uh, nice leg to the upside here uh, we're not super overheated we are kind of like warm uh, and that's absolutely fine so what we only need is a four hourly candle close above this downward sloping resistance line that is another point of entry for you if you are looking for a trade um Technically, you can also look here on the one hourly chart and that is $61,000 basically. So another $100. If you get a 15 minute candle close above that, uh, you can technically enter this and write this here into the next bigger resistance. If you want to hold on until then to your trade. So here based on the MDX algo, uh, the next supply level is around $64,600. Uh, $65,000 approximately. I'm not holding on that long because we know there's other resistances along the way and I'm going to take profit uh, a little bit earlier. The Bitcoin dominance also is nicely dropping to the downside. Um, I could imagine that we are going to get a retest of the 57% level um, if Bitcoin starts to pump it to the upside massively today. Uh, <clears throat> if that is not the case and we go a little bit up and the market is not uh, receiving what Powell is saying too bullish, then uh, we are just getting another leg to the downside by tomorrow and the uh, current candle will stay more or less as, as it is. Uh, but if we, uh, like I said, I, I sound already like a broken record. Um, if we get a really bullish Powell today, which I believe we're going to get, expect uh, expect a move here back to 57%, which will be not bad. You know, uh, some of the alt these altcoins will uh, positively um see this and at least in dollar terms we're going to get a nice pump here uh, one of these coins will be ethereum ethereum is moving uh, here up into the 2700 dollar level currently um, that will also bring us out of that vpvr cluster that is currently still acting as resistance um, and we will get a nice confirmation if we get here at least a four hourly close above $2,700 that we finally are out of this range and going to attack the $3,000 level. That will be the imminent next level that I will be looking at. And also if I take an Ethereum trade, I will take it from $2,700 uh, to the upside in direction of $3,000. That is like a 12% move. Um, and that can happen also quite quickly once we are breaking finally out of this range. Again, guys, if you want to trade, uh, altcoins anywhere do it on bybit you still get 500 dollars uh, of a free position for any of these coins here if you deposit at least 100 dollars just deposit 100 dollars go to the reward hub claim the airdrop voucher use the airdrop voucher trade with the money all the profits belong to you only the 500 dollars you cannot withdraw but all the money that you make out of it again guys i cannot stress this enough take everything that you can get for free from these exchanges while they are throwing around with free money for just depositing like a hundred dollars there you know so one coin that i'm also eyeing with to be entering here really soon is solana um i'm waiting still for a break of the uh, 147.5 level i'm not interested to enter this before if you entered all the way from here from 141 fine you are up like two percent uh plus the leverage that you used uh, so you, you might be fine. But uh, while we are chopping here in this uh, trading range um, of the underlying support level and the Fibonacci uh, golden ratio, uh, because I missed it all the way down here, uh, I'm not interested to currently enter this. So also here, here's a downward sloping resistance line. Once that is broken, I might change my mind. But otherwise, uh, for... Uh, a real confirmation. I need to see a break of $147.50. So one coin that is 
behaving a little bit strange is actually ton because uh, the indicators are all telling me that we are bullish but over the last couple of days we went here lower than i expected so we are now close to retest our original uh, entry level here again uh, i will potentially also add more to my telegram uh, position i have currently a position running from six dollar sixty five i think so i'm like one percent underwater more or less which is absolutely fine so once we're breaking here above the 50 moving average that will give us the confirmation that we get uh, continuation but overall the indicators are all uh, are in alignment for a nice push it to the upside at least to $6.92 into that bigger resistance, uh, sorry, supply zone here on the MDX algo indicator. Once we're breaking uh, through this, I expect a quick move into $7.56 and that is also my take profit area. Then near, near really surprising today. Um, oh, wow. We moved actually all the way up here into that supply zone already. So you guys know I had a trade running here from $4.00 more or less, it was like $4.04 .04 or something. So I was here slightly underwater for quite a while, but today we got finally a nice move here to the upside. It started already yesterday. So I, since yesterday, I was a nice profit. I made here a couple thousand dollars on that trade. I closed it at $4.40, uh, 48, I think $4.48, yes. So I um, otherwise, it would have been 1% more. You know, I was waiting for 1% more and I saw it pulling back a little bit from $4.50. I was like, okay, I set a stop loss at $4.48. If I get out, I get out don't care about 1%. So that's what happened. So I missed out on $400 on that trade setup. But overall, uh, we completed this trade, which is really nice. Now I wait for a bigger pullback because you see here, we are heavily overheated on the one hourly chart, on the four hourly chart. Uh, we are also starting to look overheated. Also, the indicators are all looking overheated. So here, um, like a retest to $4.30, $4.30, 23 uh, is here definitely in the cards, in my opinion, in the next couple of days. And that's uh, where I'm looking to re-enter this right now. It doesn't make sense here. You see the MDX algo scalping indicators also telling us here to take profit point from the buy area. Uh, and that's more or less where I, where I took profit and also where I entered from. So, and, and you see that uh, perfectly... Um, played out here on the on the MDX algo indicator. So if you want this indicator, there's also a link in the description, guys, so you still get 10% discount if you use the link. Uh, they are amazing, as you can see here. I, I played more or less exactly what the indicator told me here to enter at uh, $4 and free, and I exited at $4.48 manually, you know, so, but otherwise, if I would have kept the trade to $4.52, where I originally had set it, I was really close to the take profit point here that the MDX algo gave me. So you see how accurate this indicator is. So, and that's why I'm uh, preaching all the time. You need to have an indicator suite like this because it can help you to make a lot of money here. Also, um, stacks breaking out here. Uh, you are a little bit too late if you missed the break from the downward sloping resistance line. And remember, I told you when we break it, you're going to see a pop, you know. So and what happened? We saw a pop here. If I go to the 12-hourly chart, you can clearly see that. So you see here, uh, since we popped above it, we, you got a retest. And then since then, we moved to the upside. So here, I would not enter this right now because I believe we can come back to like $1.65, $1.65. 62 something like this so that is where i would be currently looking at to enter but overall the other trade also perfectly played out here that i'd given a couple days back but like i said currently i would be not looking to to enter this and another one that played out was avax i i don't want to talk about avax you see that it played out the next one it's going to play out is here uh are we but here you see here we are really close also to get to the downward stopping resistance line uh i will give you a new setup so kind of screenshot this one here but the new setup will be coming in from here and i'm gonna trade this to 33.4 dollars so here you see the the next trade for our weave 25 dollars 52 to 33 dollars 44 that's the next trade setup but you need to wait that we get a break from the downward stopping resistance line so only if we get a break and a retest you enter this and trade this to 33 dollars 44 which is also a massive massive resistance uh, area for our weave currently then the next one actually have a look here was not coty was not trx was here uh casper casper also here you can technically already enter if we break this downward sloping resistance line here, but the way safer entry would be a move above the 50 moving average here at 17 cents and one, and then trade this to almost 21 cents to the upside here. A lot of momentum still uh, going to the upside, so you're not too late. 
um, once we are breaking above this downward sloping resistance line, like I said, you can enter from there, uh, but safer is all the way up here, but you miss out on like 6% uh, to the upside. But um, I might be also inclined to enter once we are breaking above the 200 moving average. Then Rune also uh, a monster right now, moving to the upside, our trade uh, really nicely playing out here with the golden cross coming in. Uh, remember, guys, I told you when we get the golden cross, we start to move here to the upside. Let me show you my current uh, rune trade. So just that you see. So I'm up almost $5,000 right now on my rune trade. And I took the trade exactly from where I told you. Um, okay, I entered a little bit higher. Uh, I entered here at like $3.86. And um, yeah, as you can see here, still that helped me to make a lot of money even uh, if I entered like from here and we are going to touch here today $4.50 100% that's where I get out I make like $7,000 uh, I will not keep this position uh, once we are retesting this I'm going to re-enter this to trade this all the way up to $5.52 and, and you can do the same but as you can see here the stochastic is about uh, to be heavily overbought. The RSI also struggles to go higher. Only the MACD is still bullish and the price is still bullish. Uh, hence why I believe that we can get here that last tiny move here all the way up to $4.50 before we're going to get a rejection. So and that's why I want to get out there. And then the last one is render. We are above that uh, ascending triangle. Here also, I will only enter this when we get a retest to like $5 and free because we are heavily overextended on the indicators. Once we are getting this small pullback, I enter this to trade this all the way up into the um, take profit area around $6. And guys, that's it already for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure that you smash up the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and I hope I will be a little bit less sick and have more money tomorrow.